September 29. Vavara Alexeyevna, my own, I saw Fedora today, my darling. She says that you are to be married tomorrow, and that the day after you are setting off, and that Mr. Bikov is engaging horses already. I have told you about His Excellency already, my darling. Another thing, I have checked the bills from the shop in Gorohovoy. It is all correct, only the things are very dear. But why is Mr. Bikov angry with you? Well, may you be happy, Varenka. I am glad, yes, I shall be glad if you are happy. I should come to the church, my dear, but I've got lumbago. So I keep on about our letters. Who will carry them for us, my precious? Yes, you have been a good friend to Fedora, my own. You have done a good deed, my dear. You have done quite right. It's a good deed. And God will bless you for every good deed. Good deeds never go unrewarded, and virtues will sooner or later be rewarded by the eternal justice of God. Varinka, I wanted to write to you a great deal. I could go on writing and writing every minute, every hour. I have one of your books still, Bielkin's Stories. I tell you what, Varinka, don't take it away. Make me a present of it, my darling. It is not so much that I want to read it. But you know yourself, my darling, winter is coming on. The evenings will be long, it will be sad, and then I could read. I shall move from my lodgings, Farinka, into your old room and lodge with Fedora. I would not part from that honest woman for anything now. Besides, she is such a hard-working woman. I looked at your empty room carefully yesterday. Your embroidery frame has remained untouched, just as it was with embroidery on it. I examined your needlework. There were all sorts of little scraps left there. You had begun winding thread on one of my letters. On the little table I found a piece of paper with the words, Dear Makar Alexievich, I hasten. And that was all. Someone must have interrupted you at the most interesting place. In the corner behind the screen stands your little bed. Oh, my darling. Well, good-bye, good-bye. Send me some answer to this letter quickly. Maka de Yavushkin. Breaking in. Bielkin's stories, it will be remembered, is Pushkin's work. This may be Dostoevsky's way of reminding the reader of the station master and the character Samson Virin, whose fate is similar to Makar's own. End of comments.